back in 1952, the Soviet Union made a scary little bird first fight. This is Tu-95, a long-range bomber capable of delivering nuclear payloads, which is truly a real concern to the adversaries. At that time, no propeller bomber really terrified more than this bear. With its four prop engines and eight blades per engine, this bomber flew through the countries. What makes this plane so unique, besides it's an ancient plane, is not what you think. This is the most distinctive feature of the Tu-95. Each of its four NK-12 engines drives a pair of large four-bladed propellers that are mounted one behind the other on the same axis but spin in opposite directions. A single propeller simply could not absorb the massive horsepower of the NK-12 engine efficiently. By using two propellers, the workload is distributed, allowing them to handle the engine's power within a reasonable diameter. The Tu-95 is one of the loudest aircraft in the world. This isn't just because the engines are powerful. The immense size and rotational speed of the eight propellers mean their tips are constantly moving faster than the speed of sound. If you look closely at the propeller blades, you'll notice they are swept back, much like the wings of a jet fighter. This is an advanced aerodynamic design feature to delay the onset of shock waves as the blade tips approach supersonic speeds, further enhancing their efficiency at high-speed cruise. Even though this ancient plane looks unfit for flight, it is capable of carrying loads you cannot carry. It is generally cited to be between 15,000 and 20,000 kilograms. In its initial role, the Tu-95's cavernous internal bomb bay was designed to carry the Soviet Union's early, bulky nuclear bombs. Its most famous and visually dramatic mission was, in 1961, when a specially modified Tu-95V carried and dropped the AN-602 Tsar Bomba, the most powerful thermonuclear device ever detonated. The bomb was so large it had to be carried semi-externally under the fuselage. It seems that this plane is very outdated. However, why does Russia still use this ancient plane? The first reason is about money. It is significantly cheaper to operate and maintain the existing fleet of Tu-95s than to fly the more complex and fuel-hungry supersonic Tu-160 bombers. The design is proven, rugged, and reliable. The Tu-95 is no longer a penetration bomber that has to fly over enemy territory and evade fighters. Its primary role today is as a standoff cruise missile carrier. Russia makes this plane like an old body with new brains. While the airframe is from the 1950s, the aircraft's mission systems are not. Russia has consistently upgraded the fleet. <laughs>